So welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. This is your girl, Mrs. JBJ. What is happening? What is going on? Welcome, welcome. So we are talking about Carisha. So Carisha has finally, finally decided to talk about everything from Diddy to the city girls breaking up. So let's talk about it. Carisha finally speaks. Um, she um, decided to talk about her relationship with Diddy. She also addressed the city girls breaking up. This was, I think personally, was the perfect interview for her. Um, she decided to let Santana do it. I do like that because they're closed. Like she wanted to be protected, right? Um, I think it would have been weird for her to maybe go on like a Gail King or a Good Morning, any of that. I don't think that we would have gotten half of what she said in this interview. So her doing it on her own platform and doing it with Saucy Santana, which is her best friend, I thought it was perfect. She's safe with Santana. So let's get right into the interview. So like I said, they got right into it. Um, Santana did ask. Carisha how she was feeling mentally um she was very emotional she talked about like so many people you know not checking in on her not being supportive she felt alone um but she also um in this time remember what's important which is her kids um she felt like she has worked so hard to build the brand of Carisha and to see that it was crumbling before her and not really getting the support from her family and friends. We talked about everybody instead of like showing up for her. They was like, aha, you thought you had a come up. Aha, that nigga trick you. So she feels all that pressure. I am a City Girls fan. I like Carisha and JT. But I also see something special in Carisha. I really do. And um, JT too. But something is really special about Carisha. Her personality, I think, really shines. And people really like Carisha. Um, like I said, she was very emotional that, you know, sometimes she feels like she's not in a good place. You know, going through it, trying to be accountable and know what's important is her kids love the way Santana asked Carisha these questions he got right into it so Santana asked Carisha why you think that everything that's going on with Diddy that everybody is just grouping you in with him um not you being your own individual person but when they talk about Diddy they're talking about young Miami how do you feel about that and she said that she understands why people feel that way because she was a cheerleader for Diddy. Um, she was rooting for him, but she said also she met him in a season of his life where people was giving him flowers. Um, he had the Icon Award at BET. Um, he was just getting a lot of accolades. This is true. I talked about this. Um, at one point, I felt like dang Diddy is doing a lot um he's with Carisha um he's dropping a new album um he's getting all these awards him performing with his son he just had a lot of highlights for the last couple of years um I don't know if that was intentional and Diddy was like knew that all of this that's showing up in his life that he knew that was coming so he was like you know let me do let me balls to the walls before it's over I'm not sure but I can relate to her I believe that um she talked about meeting him when people was calling him love um Diddy was on the love train Diddy was um in a season where he was like I didn't did I saw that with him not saying that it was authentic I'm not definitely trying to be on the Diddy like oh Diddy is a saint definitely not I'm just telling you what I have seen for the last couple of years he this facts he changed his name so she she just talked about that is the season and that's what she saw in Diddy 
you know, she didn't see that other person in Diddy. She said he was on a high, you know, and that's why she like fell for him. She was like, she don't think either one of them was serious about each other, right? She was like, we just made a connection. We was vibing and we always hooked up. We never thought that this relationship would go this far right? You do meet people in different seasons in their lives. Uh, It's so funny when people go through things. It's always this judgment. It's always like tearing someone down. But we all ask forgiveness. We all is saying, Lord, please, you know, cover me this day or forgive me for the things. I mean, I know I'm in a study gratitude and forgiveness state right that is real life so she talked about this is what I experienced from Diddy a Diddy that was on high vibration um in a loving space that's the man who I met and that's also the man that saw something good in me she talked about a lot of people think that she just wanted a bad from Diddy she was like no I was under him to tell me how to get in movies how how to build relationships, how to make a podcast. So she said it was a business relationship that turned in something else. But she said, I wasn't with Dilly to get no Chanel bag or being on an allowance with him. I wanted to grow. I wanted to elevate. Y'all was, I said, I want to be the next Oprah. So it was a business relationship. Um, Santana also asked her, like, how do you feel about the situation with Diddy and what he's been accused for um she was like that wasn't my experience with him she was like her past relationship she has been in domestic violence but her having her daughter um she was like I'll never do that again she was just saying that she's not um saying that Diddy didn't do that but she was like I just didn't experience that from him Santana asked her was she still with Diddy she said no I need to figure his life out and I got kids and I gotta move on so I I don't have time or whatever you got going on you need to take care of that you know like go pray go meditate go work on Diddy right and I have distant myself we do not have a relationship so Santana asked Carisha about her relationship with JT and the city girls breaking up um she said that their relationship is not good and it's not bad um but she said are we girls and we call each other check up no we don't do any of that um are we going to work together and show up when we supposed to absolutely So Santana also asked Carisha, do she know like why city girls broke up? And she said that it was a point where they would be on tour together and they wouldn't have a connection. She said that the only time that they would have a connection is when they get on stage, meaning um, they had their own separate um, entourage, our own like beauty and glam squad she had hers they were separate they had two tour bus so they didn't have any type of connection and she was like I don't she's not sure exactly when and how that happened but that is like they just grew apart I want to say this um I think I'm it may seem like I'm riding the Carisha um bandwagon but I'm talking about the interview that she put out right if I do a recap on JT review then maybe I'll have a different perspective but I'm speaking solely on Carisha's interview and what I know and have seen um Carisha throughout the years I want to say this a hundred percent when JT went to jail Carisha she held her down because one they were just getting in the beginning stages of city girls city girls had one hit and it blew up JT went to jail young Miami was holding it down on every radio station every um club every little festival she was riding it out with every criticism people 
took all kind of shots at the city girls and that girl just kept pushing through and pushing through and showing up the whole and everyone knew that jt was the talent right she was the rapper she wrote the lyric carisha gave her those props she said this is jt thing she invited me in she coached me to do what i'm doing now she coached me to be young miami but this is jt dream this is jt vision she also always said that she always spoke that even when people criticized her and told her to give up and like what are you doing she kept riding for the city girls she put the city girls in a position long enough and got pregnant (laughs) she was pregnant as well during this time that JT was in jail and she still held it down and people fell in love with Carisha. People love Carisha so much she was showing up for every interview, every festival. She was having a moment, right? And she was really holding down City Girls and really making them one of the top rap groups of all time. She really was in this era. She really held them down. She was doing feature with um lotto she was doing features with everybody everybody little baby she was doing features with everybody i was like damn carisha and very insecure right she was saying this is jt vision i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna leave it alone but i honestly think that jt was jealous Like she saw that young Miami was holding it down. People embraced young Miami. Um, Young Miami became in different circles. I personally think, and I like you, JT, but I think you were jealous of Carisha, how she developed, how people embraced her, how she was really that girl. I remember when Carisha interviewed um jt her and santana on carisha please podcast and she was telling them and was very emotional and crying like i think trick daddy because you know they respect trick daddy they in miami so what he says about them mean a lot to them and she was saying how trick um was basically was like young miami is the city girls right she was like that shit broke her so i do think it was underlining jealousy but jt came into that position paid collecting check book and busy that had a hundred percent to do with young miami i don't care what you guys say say what you want say she can't rap say this but she held them down and that girl worked her ass off that when jt came in she was booked and busy so i do think that it was some jealousy with that i really really do um santana also asked carisha um why didn't she defend jt when jt was getting in this beef with cardi like where were you and she was like to be honest with you she was like the queen ain't called me for bad and bougie she said i ain't even know nothing about bad and bougie she said cardi and jt was fighting over that bad and bougie song so why would i step in JT didn't even have the nerves to tell me that she was doing a record with the queen, Nikki. She didn't tell me nothing about it. Nobody told me nothing. The song was just out, and I was surprised, like, oh, damn, that's JT. And so when she gets in a beef online with daggone Cardi, like, why y'all want me to step in? It was about bad and bougie. She kept me out. She kept that a secret, so why would I come? I get that. I understand that. Um. So Santana did come back to Puffy. Um, Why didn't she hold him down? And she was just like, I couldn't. Like everything that was going on, I just could not hold him down. She was like, it was a situation where it was a business relationship. She said both of them, and I think I just repeated this, but they came back to this part and she was like, it was a business relationship turned to love. They did love each other. But with everything that he got going on, she was like, I just can't stand behind that. And in this situation, I choose my family. She also gave props to Santana for being there for her. 
she was like he has been a huge help she's like if santana wasn't here i probably be popping pills i just would be on a whole different level that he really like believe in me he motivates me um you can tell like every time i see them on live um i see them together it seemed like you know saucy is really there for her it in the episode with a game and also what carisha has planned in the future and she said that um her future plans is that of course um carisha please season two is coming back i'm happy for that people really feel comfortable with Carisha, Carisha asks me for everything, everything we want to know. So I really like Carisha, please. So I'm glad that that's coming back to Revolt Season 2. Um, she also talked about um, her possibly, no, she didn't possibly, she said she is. So she w will be doing a reality TV show. Uh, you know, I'm going to be here for that because as you can tell, I'm doing a whole recap on her interview. So yeah, we love the reality TV idea. And she also talked about music. Um, so it seemed like she needed to address this. She probably mentally, well, she said it. I mentally been dealing with a lot. So I do think it was necessary. I don't like that people, you know, automatically associate Carisha with Diddy. Um, you know, they was in a relationship. But what Diddy did and him abusing them women and all that food, that's on Diddy. Then he been in this game for almost 30 years. That man just met this girl a couple years ago. Don't be trying to put all his trauma, all his shit on her. He met him in a different season. So it seemed like she had to address it because she did have a relationship with him. People were trying to make her accountable for his shit. I don't understand that. But do I think it was necessary for her to come out with um, an interview, clear the air so she can move forward? Absolutely. And let's try to be an advocate for people moving forward. Let's give people more grace. Like, we all got our shit. I just don't understand why we can't wrap our head around, like, people go through stuff, right? You can't look at another sis and be like, man, I get it, man. Let's get up. Let's try this shit again right let's try it again let's get up try it again let's do it over i actually love the interview you guys have to check it out it's right here on youtube you ain't gotta pay for no well i'm promoting it but you ain't gotta pay for no streaming services go right to youtube absolutely free and guys you know i have so much things on my channel i am putting out my recap for love and hip-hop ATL with Dumb and Sharita and Kurt over there acting a fool. We dealing with basketball wives and oh yeah and I'm also about to start doing these recaps on the breast and so yeah guys if you're still here go ahead and like subscribe and guess what I'll see you guys on my next episode. Peace.